And uh, this is the last question in the practice mm. section. And it's from Padma Vasini, a longer mm. one, mm. on the um, relationship between order members and the Buddhist centre. Mm. Could there be a way of discussing the relationship between the activities held at the centre, teaching Dharma, and indirect methods, the arts, physical activities, for example? The original, I'll read out the whole question, there may be mm. parts to it, mm. but the original ideal for centres upheld the integrity and importance of Dharma activities. Many order members are developing their lives relating their Dharma practice with indirect methods, which is how they earn a living. Mm. Does the original ideal of the integrity of the center stop order members wanting to engage with the center, with what they do, and so not come at all? Mm. Is it time to discuss this and find out how order members are in relation to the center and what stops us offering mm. workshops and supporting Dharma mm. activities? Mm. Mm. I, I, I see um, the communication of the Dharma as the primary function of our public centres. Hmm? Um, there are, of course, the, well, and of course, the Dharma will be communicated uh, directly uh, through the teaching of meditation, um, through study groups, by means of spiritual friendship, and so on. Hmm? Um, I'm not, I'm, not sh I'm not sure why um, someone who is earning a, a living, uh, presumably outside the, uh, the Dharma Center, by uh, engaging in one of the indirect uh, methods, as we've called them, maybe teaching yoga or something of that sort, I don't see why that should necessarily prevent them from engaging in more directly dharmic activities at the, the local Buddhist center. I think there may be a bit of an assumption there. But uh, whether or not that is the case, I, I certainly think that the, at least the primary function of the public center is to communicate the Dharma. Hmm? Uh, and sometimes one can communicate that indirectly. But one must be quite clear um, that it is in fact the Dharma that one is uh, communicating if one is communicating it direct, uh, indirectly. Um, if, if someone is, is earning their living, say, by teaching an indirect method, that may be part of their own spiritual practice, but it does not necessarily mean that they are thereby communicating the Dharma. Hmm? And I think there's a distinction here. But uh, to repeat, what, to emphasize what I've said, I think the primary, um, the primary function of the public center is certainly to communicate the Dharma and to communicate it as di directly as possible. Um, so therefore, that there needs to be a, a sort of a sense of priorities that if other activities uh, do take place within the, within the center, nonetheless, the overall emphasis is definitely on communicating the Dharma. Hmm. I, I, well, I don't see why the, the question shouldn't be discussed. I mean, people connected with a center, order members especially, I mean, obviously free to discuss any particular arrangement that they like. But uh, these are the principles that should be borne in mind, that the primary function of the public center is to communicate the Dharma. Hmm.